so now let's go to behance let me explain so uh this video is recorded in high quality so it will be uploaded on creative communities youtube channel so if you want to get the full edited version it's not going to be posted back in the group it's going to be posted back in the uh youtube channel so if you are not in the youtube channel it's good for you to go and subscribe now this is behance and this is how it looks like let me use the behance account that has not existed before let me create something new so in the first section of the live session i was talking about how you can what the benefits of creating a behance account now i'm going to be showing you how you can create a behance account first things first you have to go to their website behance.net it's not behance.com yes, can you hear me i see the screen oh, oh yeah that's true Let me it. can you see the screen now yeah i can see now okay please turn off the mic now all right so this is what behance looks like and i'm going to be showing you how you can create your behance account from start to finish but let me just explain what i talked about in the first section now behance is primarily a portfolio site it's primarily a portfolio site and this is mostly is designers that use it and uh is uh photographers designers and other people that are in the creative industry so now behance primarily is a portfolio site and if you want to search jobs i talked about jobs about it. this is where you can search jobs here when you click on jobs behance source out available projects and jobs that you can handle so they're looking for Canva designers, they're looking for design. So if you can fill in for this uh, role, you can you are free to try out. Don't be scared. You just apply for it and see what he brings to you. So is that section is under jobs here. Also, designers can live stream on Behance when they teach design sessions. Um, Photoshop classes and other things. So most of the time Adobe also uses Behance to live stream uh, their classes and their live sessions here on Behance. Also discover section is to search for projects that you want to see. Project that you like this for example you have a local design project and you want to work on one. So you can come here and just search logo design and then press enter and then to give you logo design projects that you want to see for inspiration so that's the search and the discover icon but let's go to the home page just click on the logo so now to create a behance account first things first you need to have uh, a, a google account or a, an email address so you click on sign up here and then you will be asked to create an adobe an adobe id then i'll uh, put up the my the email address that i'm using here and then i'll just use the creative i'm coming So make sure your password is following the instruction of what uh, Behance is asking for. So you click continue, then save your password. Then write your name. So I'm going to cut this out. Date of birth, the day that you were born, the, day, the year that you were born. The country you are from and then if you want them to send you emails and click on please contact me via email and click done so why this is loading 
once it is done it will take you to a place where you can verify your account by solving puzzles so so you look for dice that has the same icon facing up so this one has the same icon facing up number one then which one again um this one has the same icon facing up yeah this one and then the last one i think this one but that's not the last one no. this one so yeah automatically to ask you to authenticate your account and do all those things so they'll ask you for your interest so i'll pick graphic design ui ux illustrations motion product design advertising game design sound design and photography and click see my feed so now i've created uh the behance profile now to check your profile just click on this particular icon here once you click on it this is how your profile looks like so let's add a profile picture add the profile picture and you are set so i'm going to click a profile picture um, where is the profile picture logo icon I don't think I have a profile. Do we have? Yeah, we have one. So, I'm going to use this one. So, adjust your profile picture. Make sure that your profile picture is in a square size. Uh, and, and then, you have added your profile picture. Then, claim your profile URL. So, this one is to help you customize your profile URL. So set it the way you want to to be. So we'll just save. Then edit your availability. This one means that if you want clients to give you jobs, you can click on it. So let's say freelance project, full time job, remote opportunities. Set your budget. Your budget should be like one thousand dollars. Select your availability. You are, you'll be available for the next six months and click done and create your first project so create your first project is actually like uploading your work now if you want to upload your work this this is a simple way to do that it will take you to this uh section what you do is you just click on this image here and then look for your works let's say i want to upload creative communities uh let's see some posters that we did so some designs that we've done so click this click this click this click this you hold control to pick many multiple uh projects or multiple images so i'm gonna pick uh let's pick the one you're comfortable with so I'm, I, I, I'm not going to pick everything but we're also going to pick a few of them this and then click open when you click open automatically it will help you to begin to open every single one of them and to, be, to load them like this so they are actually loading so once they are done loading it to uh show and then to ask whether if you want to publish the job but let's come back here so now this is your profile and this is how it looks like here you need to edit your profile so that you can help people understand who you are what you are interested in what you do so let's see for example we are a community we are a creative director company creative community then lagos add your website i'm going to use https instagram.com forward slash creative community then add your twitter link add your instagram link and add your profile everything that you want to add so i'm going to link so, so
So they said I should remove this one. So let me remove it since I'm already adding Instagram. Then you you add your preferred social media platform. So I can I'm not adding Telegram. Let's not add Telegram. I'm not interested in that. So the about you section and work experience and links. This one will be visible in your like I said, Behance automatically creates a resume. So it will be visible in your resume. Anything you are feeling here should be deliberate, not just for fun now, because this is what they will use to hire you. If you want to add a custom section, like let's say like your work experience or your education, you can add it. If you want to add another one. So that's how you can do it. Let's go back to our profile this is how our profile looks like so to create a new project this is already done what you do is is to if you want to add a text you can add text but i'll advise you that instead of you adding text design your text in the same format and then upload it as a jpeg picture you can add videos you can add you can uh, arrange you can arrange your you can arrange your photo grid and then set the arrangement then once you are done just click continue and then this picture will show you if you want to change this cover image here you click on edit cover image and then you switch so i can switch in between the cover image i can zoom in and zoom out so just crop then put out the name of your project let's say it's illustrations and then add your project tags in what particular field does your project belong to is it um brand identity if you press enter is it logo design so they'll suggest for you and then you pick so and then it's okay you can add the software you use so i use the photoshop They now ask you where do you want to categorize this project graphic design illustration and advertising so then you just if you have some adult content stuff on your design please check this stuff but if you don't leave it then once once you're done publish immediately you publish your first project it will show you something like this and then you can like you know on instagram we call it like on behance it's called appreciate it's called appreciate so you can appreciate your work by clicking on it and then yeah so when you refresh this page this is our first project so this is how our project looks like so let me explain the advanced one now this one i've already filled up all this stuff and like i said share the works you are interested in share the works that you want to share that you are passionate about don't share what you are not confident in so the works that are here are works that i like and works that i would love to collect as projects so let's say i search for my name here creative action so if you search for me you have to look for people and then it will bring people who bear the name so this is me here and then click on me this is how it looks like from a viewer perspective so it will show you everything about the person here the, their project views their appreciations their followers people that they are following a social media account their website and then read more and stuff like that so if you want to hire the person just click on hire so you start a conversation and then you move further so if you want to check their works if you want to follow the person follow the person and that's how you can build your behance account it's very easy and you can also message the person if you want to talk to the person if you click on the hire me and if you start a conversation, you send a message to the person like, Hey, how are you doing? Send message. So, 
once the message is being sent, I'll come here, I'll see, look at the message here. So this was this is the person that sent me a message, and I'll see the message here. Here, how are you doing? And then you respond. So that is how you can um, get jobs. I'm sorry, you can post your work and upload your stuff on Behance. So if you have any question, let me know in the group, and then we'll talk more about it.